Look at this. Let's activate Wyoming River. We're heading down there right now. Yeah, I got my board. I got all my stuff. Let's do this. Like, okay, let's go. We're gonna go to Wyoming River. Yeah, apparently it just opened. We just had that last big swell, so time to go ride and have some fun. Uh, really excited. I didn't think we were actually gonna get the river for a little while, but that last swell boosted up all the sand, put a bunch of water in it, and then it rained, and now it could be perfect. Could suck. I don't really care. Either way, I brought a mattress and I brought a twin fin just to kind of get loose with the turns. I don't know who dug it out. They're going to probably be like, oh, is this guy I never dug? Just showed up. <laughs> we got to activate fast. <laughs> oh. You see how fast that raft just pumped up? That's like quick activation kind of stuff. This is faster than waxing your board. River and the other piece of the quiver. Look at that. Probably the most psyched guy on the North Shore right now. Right, Halfway. 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 Come on. Oh fuck, we're kind of missing it. This is when you just drop everything and take over. showed up a little late. I got one wave so far, looks like a couple more forming. I missed it. Damn, it happened fast. We're going downstream with the Groms. What's up, Groms? Woo! What's your guys' Instagram? My Fiber Dime. Jackson Bunch. Damn, follow these Groms. Radical Bunch. Yeah. Here we go. guys well we got down the Waimea River it was not as good as we thought it was gonna be actually we're a little late got a couple fun waves made the best out of it we're gonna head to Sunset Beach I heard the waves are up we're gonna grab the kayaks and send it this afternoon so should be fun thanks Waimea we'll see you next time all right guys it is time to go on the kayak we're getting psyched we got the log we got the Malibu and we got all the boys Let's put this stuff in the truck and let's get to sunset. Most guys in October are practicing for the HIC Sunset Pro. We decided to take kayaks out today, um, some double tandem stuff, maybe a couple barrels, suss out the lineup, kind of a little ruckus. Let's just get involved and start warming up for the comp, boys. Be the best uh, guy out there, get the best wave today. Probably gonna be us on the kayak, sending it. I think this is a bad idea. I'm just gonna make that clear from the beginning. Didn't agree to this. The charge inside bowl sunset on a kayak. First time it's ever done? Probably. We're gonna get shacked. Guaranteed. Alright, here we go. We just got to the shore break. It is sunny. The waves are 10 feet. Everything is exactly how we want it today. So hopefully we don't get too drilled, but we're gonna find out soon enough. We haven't made it out yet, we're still on the beach. Literally going backwards. Oh my God. <laughs> they just got worked again. Go, let's go. We got it.
gnarly. That was like probably the most violent wipeout I had all winter. Straight side, airdrop, sunset, boom, flip, boom, tomahawk, held down, popped up, paddle back out for more. We're activating. Waves are in the eight to 10 foot range, real Hawaiian style size, and it looks like there's steps coming. the barrel of the day we packed like a 10 footer <laughs> I don't know about Woo. 10 feet but it was 10 feet wide 10 foot face <laughs> my kayak just was not performing today just couldn't knife a good drop just kept like air dropping and then just ejection just got pounded that was the worst poundings I ever got in October literally every wave was like a phenomenal wipeout cartwheels backflips this kayak sucks I, they, they got the orange one and that's the good one, I swear. There's something different about this blue kayak and that orange kayak. You'll see the clips. I mean, you probably just saw the clips, so. <laughs> you said, you were like, oh, the blue the blue and the orange no, kayaks are exactly the same. They're not the same officially, <laughs> like, because they were ripping and we weren't, so there's something different, you know? Where's this guy's This Aussie guy's all psyched. Let's go ask him a couple questions. Yeah. You got anything to say to the camera? Fucking mad dog been watching you boys for fucking Jeez. ages, man. Hey. Thanks, dog. So awesome. Appreciate it. Good to see you in person, brother. I appreciate brother. it. You think we're sending it out there? A little bit. I've seen a couple of stacks, a couple of near misses there, eh? I was oh, going to yeah. pop out, but don't have the canotes like you boys, you know? Oh, yeah, you do. You just don't know you have <laughs> them yet. I haven't grown into them yet, you know? <laughs> Legendary. Nah, mad dog, bro. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got done kayaking. That was crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna attempt that again. But anyways, we're gonna grab the winch right here. It is buried under the sub squatch and a longboard and a foil. Grab that, and we're gonna grab a couple soft tops and we're gonna hit the road. Let's go. We have returned for Psycho Pits. We brought the winch down. Uh, we're gonna get the thickest barrels we got all year right now. This is like our version of ours, but it's not perfect at all. Well, it's a perfect closeout, but that's about it.
out there the sun is about to set that means the vlog is almost over which kind of sucks because today was like the best day ever we did everything we had a blast and there's still a little time left for Lucas to get a couple more beautiful afternoon on the north shore of Oahu let's see what happens to Lucas Alright guys, so I've been telling you guys on the videos to drop some comments below. I'm gonna answer a few of them today. So this one's from Nick Otten. He said get Ben Gravy out here to Hawaii. You know what's actually funny, Nick? Is Ben Gravy shows up next week. He's staying at my house. So let's pray for big waves, crazy shore breaks, and crazy sub squash battles. Um, so stay tuned. Hey, good question, buddy. Someone asked me to ask John Joe and Florence how he keeps his hair so awesome. <laughs> This next one is from Harrison White. He asked me, is Gabriel better at airs or is John John better at airs? Who's the winner? Um, you know what? I'm honestly gonna go with John John. Maybe a little favoritism, because that's my friend. John John Bus is the gnarliest airs, the highest airs, the most critical airs. And don't get me wrong, Gabriel is just so gnarly and fun to watch as well. But take John John's side, that's my boy. This next question is from Katherine Kate. Uh, thanks for dropping the comment. She asked, how long have I been surfing? I've been surfing on the North Shore for 30 years. So that means I'm 35. I started surfing when I was five years old. I mean, this is the ultimate place to learn how to surf from A to Z. You know, you can start in little tiny shore breaks and move your way up all the way to Waimea Bay. So, yep, 30 years of surfing on the North Shore. And it's been awesome. Okay guys, the next question is from TR3S. His question is, when will John John come back to compete? I was actually talking to John John the other day and he said he might not enter the Pipeline Masters this year. Exclusive uh, stuff right here. Um, just saying he needs to take off some time for next year. That way he's ready for a full year. And um, yeah, hopefully we see John John at Snapper at the beginning of the year and maybe win his third world title. Let's hope. A good question was by Cloudy. It said, teach John John Florence how to do a board transfer. So what I'm gonna do is when John John's knee gets better, I'm gonna go over to his house with my boards and tell him let's do this. I wanna teach you how to do a board transfer, John John. Good question, I like that one. On to the next. All right, the next question is from Jackson W. Probably one of my favorite ones right here. I use this line all the time. Jackson says he just drank a Red Bull and he's about to go to bed. You know what I call that? getting psyched to go to bed, so that's so sick. That's one of my favorite lines ever. They're like, why are you drinking a Red Bull? I'm on, getting psyched, dude, going to bed. All right, this next question, and it's the last question. It's from Frozen Konza. She asked me, or she told me that her dream is to have a surf session with me. Let me tell you, it's not that hard. Show up in Hawaii, right around the Pipeline Masters, we're around every day. We're surfing out in front of the house at the beach park. And, and you know, to any of you guys, like if you guys want to meet a pro surfer or, or just hang out at the beach on the North Shore in the middle of the winter, you're going to see everything. You're going to see all your favorite surfers, most likely. And you know, who knows? We can make that surf session happen. So uh, thanks for the question, though. All right, guys, so question time is over, but don't forget to keep dropping comments below and I'll keep answering more of your questions. I really, really like reading what you guys have to say, whether the vlog's good or bad or 
if you're feeling the music, did Alex do a good job, did Timmy miss the clip? You know, there's a million things we could talk about, but anyways, it's time to end the vlog, so don't forget to click the button right here to subscribe and to watch more videos. Don't forget to turn your notifications on to be the first to see this video. Over and out, peace out. I'll see you next Monday.